Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. This is Wall Crawl with our Radiant Two Ways Guide, and we have got that end all, be all um, challenge, the Absolute Radiance. This is certainly the most difficult one up in here, at least in my opinion, and uh, definitely a difficulty level three. And what we got here is I'm going to basically fight them in my standard way with just a little bit of an edge on soul. I've got unbreakable strength, quick slash, so I can hit a bunch, and spell damage is really the best way to burn through the phases as fast as possible. And that's with shaman stone and soul eater, so your strikes just are really pulling a lot of soul to use. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that this uh, kind of the way that uh, you'd be more familiar with in fighting the absolute radiance. Let's give it a try. All right, the number one thing you want in the beginning is just to grab a bunch of soul off her with the nail strikes. And then uh, you can use that with uh, your abyss shrieks to cause massive damage and hopefully get through this fight quicker than uh, as quickly as possible because uh, the longer this goes on the uh, more likely it is you're gonna get hit she just has too much stuff that's hard to avoid there's two abyss shrieks even though I only landed one There we go. Now get the rest of it on soul. And uh, making it hard on me. And that's good. We're through that phase. We've got a lot of soul up there in the corner. So that's nice and positive. I'm going to go over to my favorite platform. You may have your own. And I'm just going to spam upward in case she appears there. Which she didn't. But uh, there we go. Ooh. Didn't have a really good place to do an Abyss Shriek right there. So, this might turn into one. Okay. Warp through. All right, I can double Abyss Shriek right here. Only got a little bit on that one, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna get an Abyss Shriek because there was an empty space that was gonna go right through me. Like that one. That was not my favorite. Double Abyss Shriek. Send her upstairs. Now we just got to platform. Alright, come on. And an Abyss Shriek, just in case. Now just play it safe. Warp through. Pogo. Warp through. Hit. Warp through. Warp through. Warp through. And that's it. Not the easiest one up in here. Whoa, thou spec. To achieve victory even though only against a mere imprint of that most brilliant deity, thine battles prove strength enough to embrace. Okay, yeah, who cares? So, we got them on Radiant. Okay, well, that's one way of doing this. Um, hopefully you found something helpful there and, uh, you can get in there and do it. Okay. For this way of doing things, it's going to be a challenge for me, but, uh, I'm going to be using shaman stone, quick slash fluke nest 
Nail Master's Glory, and Soul Eater. Now, Soul Eater's there just to pull a lot of soul, and I'm going to be trying to use um, Fluke Nest to do a lot of damage on him. Um, this Nail Master's Glory is almost solely there for just the opening of the fight, in which I jump up and do a, a quick Cyclone Slash, and uh, it fills up like the whole first meter with soul. Uh, quick slash is so I can get a lot of the strikes in to build the soul. And um, shaman stone is so it hits hard. Now with shaman stone, fluke nest, a single, if you get all of the flukes in there, it hits for, I believe, 80. And abyss shriek hits for 120. Sometimes you can get two abyss shrieks in on the radiance in a normal fight. Um, it's hard to get three in, but uh, there are times with Fluke Nest you can get two in, and there are times when you can get three in. So either two for 160 or three for, what is that, 240. That could be a serious hit. Um, so I'm sacrificing some other things for that, but it is a fun way to do it. Since you can't get hit by the radiance by running into it you can jump up and usually just to the side and uh, depending on what ta attack the radiance is unleashed you can uh, just drop those flukes right in on top of her and she can take some pretty massive damage okay let's give it a shot Alright, so here comes the sun. It's going to be wonderful. We're going to fight her in this weird fluke way. As she appears, I'm going to use a Cyclone Slash. It's going to be like the only nail art I use. And um, soak up some soul. It, it works just about as well to just get strikes in. But uh, it's, yeah, I'm going to use it that way. Got some uh, some soul now. So now we can start hitting her with these. You can hear that little camera shutter sounding thing. Hit him with two. And uh, then you can sometimes follow it up with another. Um, whew, with another nail strike afterwards. So that's good. Okay, now just fill up on this soul as we send her into phase number two. All right, we're good to go. I'm going to go all the way up to the top because of the arching attack of these flukes can like uh, fall down on top of her depending on where she is. Alright, so I got kind of some hits there in the beginning, so they weren't great hits, but I'll take them. Woo! Alright. Didn't really have a great opportunity to use the fluke right there, so I was just trying to stay alive there in the middle. Okay. I think we're going up. Yeah. All right, just keep going. Just keep going, going. Wow, that was a close one. All right, but I made it. All right, let's try to finish her off. We'll get a fluke in right there. How? And that's 
it. That's the ball game. Gives me a lot of my little cool little statement. And uh, that is how you beat her with fluke power. All right. So hopefully that was an enjoyable way to watch it. You can actually lay down some good damage. I don't know if it's better to, uh, if you could ever argue to use that style over um, just standard abyss shrieking and other charms. But still, it's an interesting way to go. And um, hopefully you found it enjoyable. All right. If you have any questions, let me know them. If you've enjoyed our content going through all these Radiant Two Ways, give me a like, give me a subscribe. Hopefully you found some valuable things, and hopefully you can go clear out all of these Radiant bosses and fill up your little chart and have them all golden. It's really fun to look at it and know you beat every boss on Radiant. So jump in there, get in there, and do that. Hopefully this has been fun. Thank you for following along, watching my vids. It's been really cool. All right. I will see you next time, hopefully. Bye-bye.